we got a got a co-host here tonight. And uh, okay, well, let's help that. Hey, just don't knock over the camera. <laughs> All right, and welcome to the Milo Beasley Show. Do 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 do. Episode number ninety. Ninety, holy. 90. 90. Yeah, uh, you're a good around number ninety. That's yeah. almost about as many years as I've been wrestling. So uh, okay. yeah, getting up there. <laughs> uh, guest this week is uh, Leah Vaughn. Leah Vaughn. Not Leah Vaughn Dutch. Nope. Nope. Nope, you got got rid of the Dutch. Yeah, no more Dutch. Get the Dutch out. Just like you should, leave on. You should make shirts. Remember like the WWF? And yeah. Like, get the F out. Uh, you should get the Dutch get out. Get the Dutch out. Yes, yeah. everyone still wants to call me everyone. Leave on Dutch. Right, so um, uh, we're here uh, at El, or I guess La Casa uh, de Slamming Ladies. Yes. Uh, you're here. You're down here uh, for Shine Wrestling, Shine 33. Yep. And... Um, so did you have people calling you? <laughs> this cat's gonna knock over the camera. And, uh, uh, so did you have people last night calling you Leah Von Dutch? Was this your? Yeah, this yeah, was your even, first match back. Yeah, I had actually it was most of the wrestlers calling oh, me yeah? Leah Von Dutch, <laughs> uh, and on commentary on they com started to call you Leah Von Dutch at first and then caught themselves. So uh, not too many fans though. Right. Well. I mean, I guess that's good. Yeah. Uh, you took a, there was a little bit of a break and then came back. Yeah, so what I've been doing was, for the past seven weeks, I've been training with Truth Martini down in Detroit, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, for six to eight hours a day. So oh, wow. I was really trying to, to brush up on my wrestling and, like, you know, come out with this new character, new moves, you know. A light-up fur jacket? Yeah. <laughs> where'd, you get the, where'd you get the idea for a light-up fur jacket? I was just browsing oh. online one day for a Christmas <laughs> presents, actually, and I came across it, and I was like, oh, mind blown, Merry I did Christmas it. Christmas to me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, so that's how that happened. Oh, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, I think uh, it was a consensus uh, amongst folks uh, in the crowd and in the locker room that it was a hit. Ah, I heard, yes. I heard people talking about it <laughs> yeah. all night. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. So, uh, but you're not from Detroit. You're not from... No. You're not even from this country. No, I'm no. Canadian. You're from the Canada. From Canada, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so uh, uh, you're a big big hockey fan then? Uh, well, I have to be a hockey fan. You, I, be, you know right? what? Like, I do have my favorite team, but... Who's your favorite team? When I need to have a favorite team is mm -hmm. the Detroit Red Wings. So I go for Ooh. Detroit. And yeah, usually yeah. I just watch it during the Stanley Cup, during the playoffs. So <laughs> I have, I played hockey for one year. Yeah? And I was awful at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they put me on defense because I kept tackling the other girls. So, and we're not, in girl hockey, you can't tackle. No? No, you can't That's hit. What's up? Why? Why can't you? Hit? I know. I don't know. And I did it uh, anyway, so they put me on defense. <laughs> You're the goon. Yeah. So uh, Leah Vaughn, the goon. Yeah. So I just hit people. So then you started wrestling, or did you do this before wrestling? Oh, this is way before wrestling. Right. And then, I, hey, yeah. then you found a way to get your aggression out, and that's with wrestling, right? Yeah. 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 And also, actually, with soccer, I played soccer since I was four, and they, my nickname on the soccer team because I would just run through the girls. They called me Rikishi Alishi. <laughs> That's something nobody knows. <laughs> well, like, know. yeah. You hashtag I, it. Yeah, hashtag. I don't really, I don't, I, yeah, I don't think I've ever told that story, so. All right, that's an exclusive here on the Milo yeah. Beasley Show. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what made you decide to get into wrestling then? Um, well, I was always, well, not always a fan. I was a fan since probably, since I was 12 when Trish debuted and then Lita and that whole feud really brought me into wrestling. Mm. And um, yeah, I've heard that a lot actually. Yeah, so it was a lot of, you know, I was a really big fan, and then what happened was, um, you know, when high school came. Oh, oh. No, there's two cats. Oh, there's two cats. <laughs> so high school came you know along. Two cats. And I was sort of like an in closet like wrestling fan. Like I didn't, I watched it, but I didn't really let a right, lot of people it. know right. about it. And then I started watching it again when I was about seventeen. And I went to a, a school in Windsor to see about wrestling there. And it was actually, it was kind of a negative experience. Because oh. they told me that, you know, I would never make it. I wouldn't be successful, but I could give them my money anyways. So that discouraged me. And then I still decided to pursue it. Did you go there or did you go to another no, school? No, I went to another school. I went to okay. Squared Circle in Toronto. And the way I got my training was I wrote an essay contest. And the person who won the essay contest got free training, and the judge was Edge. 
and he chose me. Oh, so. that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, so I got free cool. training. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I wish I had free training. Yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, it's good. So, I mean, uh, but you hear a lot of times, like, uh, especially girls get free training and they often end up being not very good yeah but at least your experience uh you came out you came out of it talented you know yeah like, you know, it was like, it was good because i was training before that and i was um i was sort of trained a little improperly at the very beginning and then after that somebody else took me under their wing and, and was trying to retrain me so it was good to go back to the basics and get get retrained with squared circle um and then since then i just go to wherever and whenever like if i'm in you know, England. Wherever you're at, you train. Yeah, I'll, I'll train there. If I'm, you know, in Mexico, I'll train there wherever I can. Cool. And then obviously, yeah. uh, here while you're here uh, for Shine and Slam of Ladies, uh, you have like seven matches a day. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, you have to learn some new moves sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, what do you, since you are from Canada, um, pardon my ignorance, but what are, there's a cat, literally a cat bite um, <laughs> uh, in the studio here. Uh, what do you, what are some of the biggest differences? Like, well, what do you, what, do, when you, what do you look forward to when coming to the States that you might not, uh, you know, get back at home? De definitely more variety of girls to work, like to wrestle, just because in Ontario, we have like a small group of girls. So, and there, but it's a great group of girls, but you're always wrestling the same person. Whereas in the States, you know, there's a billion right, on a, girls. Right, so. on any given weekend, there's like, there's like 30 girls in the house right now. So you yeah. never know you're going to get a yeah, and I haven't, Yeah, and I haven't wrestled all of them. So, right. you know, that's probably the biggest thing just because you can start getting comfortable and not really pushing yourself once you, once you keep working the same person over and over and over again. So, right. so I really do enjoy coming to the States for that. And... Um, yeah, just, I don't know. I just like going in front of different crowds and different do like, accents. Do you, <laughs> do you like the, the Florida weather? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, yeah, everyone's like, oh, it's cold today. I'm like, no. No, so I want a suntan do, right now. So do you like it Do you like it when it's warm or do you like it when it's, do you like cold weather? No, warm. You like warm, warm, 100%. 100%. I hate so the like, cold. So like June, you're like, book me. Yeah. Book me. Just because I'm Canadian does not mean I like cold All right. weather. Right. Yeah, who likes cold? I know. Like, I don't know, like, it's the, like you have to put on, like, more clothing than you're uncomfortable, and I don't I know, know anybody who likes cold. Like, that's stupid. And then it snows. I've only seen snow, like, twice in my lifetime, maybe three times. <laughs> that's crazy. Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've lived in Florida my whole life, so, like, uh, I've only seen snow. Like, I went up to Minnesota, and then in Japan. Um, so, like, yeah, twice in my life I've seen snow, uh, and that's, like, you see it, like, every other day. No, like every day. Yeah, <laughs> every day. Pretty much. In the winter, so. Uh, yeah, well, one I've day. I've never had to shovel snow or anything like that. That's crazy. I've never, got I've, snowboarding? Have you gone snowboarding? No. I feel like you'd be awesome at snowboarding just because really? of your long hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you're going to stay Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah. No, uh, like snowmobiling? No, I've never done anything. Have you gone skating? I've gone ice skating. Okay. Yeah, but like, I mean, we have rinks here in, in Florida, but. Um, Snowshoeing? No, no, I I I, 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 I did that. drive through the snow once, once. Yeah. Like I, like on on That's the way all... to, on the way to Minnesota when we got into Chicago, we drove from Florida all the way up, um, and like I was driving and it was fine, and then like once we got into Chicago, once we got into Chicago, it was like nope, here's snow. Yeah, right? it's a whole different experience and driving I was like, in snow. And I, I never driven, and I'm just like, so I drove like maybe 12, maybe 13 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. I was just like, oh boy, here, nope, oh, we're going sideways, nope, oh, you know. No, the secret is you can't really brake. <laughs> right. You just lightly press on the brake, and you just slide, you just glide. <laughs> you have to go with like the tracks. You go with the yeah, tracks. Yeah, you can't try to go up. Yeah, I've got all sorts of tips if yeah. you want to drive in, hopefully in I, snow. Hopefully I, I don't really have to drive in snow anytime soon, <laughs> uh, especially being here in, in Florida. Um, yeah, I've never uh, gone, um, I've never had a snowball fight. I've never... That's so crazy. Yeah, well, you know the thing with snowball fights, though, is a lot of the times as kids, you'll get like welts on your head because they'll put ice in it by accident. Oh. And it's not snow, like, you get hit in the face with a, with a face, <laughs> so. Yeah, so, like, that whole, like, that would be, I guess, a, a culture shock to me, to go up there and... Uh, and build a the, snowman? And build, I've never built oh a snowman. God, that's so like, nuts. Like, Anna and Elsa, I never... That's so crazy. <laughs> um, so, but you like to, when you're here, do you like to go to the beach? 
Like, is that well? I here? usually when I'm here for shine, I don't have time. It's right. just in out and. But I do like if I make it a week long kind of thing, then I do. Yeah. I'll go to the beach. Yeah. Or How whatever. often do you get a chance to do that? Like that. Maybe you once a, a year. To, so you try Maybe. to yeah. you know build a vacation around. Yeah, once in a while when I can. So. Yeah, I mean, it's a, but life's well, life's a good place to, to <laughs> vacation around. We have a, a few things, maybe a few theme parks and yeah, beaches. Yeah, I went and... to uh, Hogan's Beach Park. Oh, you were yeah, Hogan's I Beach was there. Park. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's what'd you, cool. What did you think of that place? I liked it. Yeah, yeah. They should sponsor the show. They I had a cocktail. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what'd you have? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. It was just red. It was like, hey, give me, give me the red. Give thing. me that one. Give yeah. 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 Uh, the, did they only have like two? Was it like a red and a yellow? Was that the only colors that they had? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, give me the red. Uh, yeah. Give me I the, like that uh, one. Give me the immortal. Um, <laughs> so one thing here uh, we like to do on the Milo Beasley show is called the top five. I ask you a random top five question. Oh, I'm usually nervous. I have no clue what I'm. Everybody always gets nervous. Oh, okay. And it's usually usually nothing wrestling related. So we're gonna we're going to stray, and we're going to ask you the top five. I don't know if you still have CDs in your car, but CDs oh, in your car no. right now. No, you're gonna totally judge me. Uh, no, this is a judgment free zone. <laughs> no, you're gonna judge me. <laughs> oh, okay, no doubt. Okay. It'll definitely be number one. Okay. First of all, I'm not a music person. I'm gonna put that out there right now. I don't know lyrics to like anything. Okay. But, anyways, no okay, doubt. So, no doubt. <laughs> Celine Dion. Not judging. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, you have to. She's Canadian, right? Yeah. So do you yeah, have yeah. to like somebody because they're Canadian? No, no. I just, <laughs> I just like her. I okay. don't know. Um, oh, see, I'm an old soul, so I hey, like, I like Frank listen. Sinatra. Hey, that's all good. Frank Sinatra I like that is in stuff. there. Um, I'm trying to think, like something more current. No, <laughs> you know what do you like? You know, like you know. Oh, I do like Lady Gaga. You're, Lady Gaga look, and look, I ah, Lady Gaga. It's so Tony totally Bennett. unplanned. Yeah, they have their they have their duet That's album. like my plane album. Yeah, that I listen to. That you listen to? Yeah, awesome. I'm a plane. Um, who else would be? I I do like Katy Perry too. You like the Katy yeah. Perry? Yeah. So it's just yeah. It's just whatever you're I'm, in the mood for. I'm basic. <laughs> what do you work? What do you work out to? Uh, I usually just go on Google Play and press like the sexy and sweaty dance workout. And then that's what I listen to. Yeah, so. I usually, uh, uh, big for me for working out and running is Eminem. Oh, I was just about to say Eminem. Like, uh, he lose gets, Yourself? Like, uh, lose Yourself yeah. is a good one. Like, uh, yeah. You know, uh, Mosh is a good one that, that I listen to a lot. Uh, but yeah, so like Eminem got, I just did a half marathon last week mm -hmm. and I was just like, whatever. Listen to Eminem the entire way. Yeah. It got me through. So, I mean. No, Eminem is definitely one that gets me pumped up. Like, if I have something coming up, I'm like, it just motivates me. I'm like, yeah. I only speaking, have one chance. Speaking of music, like, so what? Uh, what are you doing for uh, ring music now? Like your for, last music, your. I mean, I'm sure you heard oh, it all the time. Everyone, my everyone God. loves yes, I the know, music. So I what know. are you doing? Are you, did you get something else? Uh, yeah, I got it? some custom music. It did play at Shine, but it wasn't quite ready yet because I still need to do a voiceover for it for the beginning part because it was um, just like the intro. But I'm I want to be talking during it. Cool. Uh, but yeah, when that gets all finished, it's going to be sweet. I just have to think of what I want to say. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, uh, before we wrap up here, uh, where can folks find you on the social medias on the Twitter and Instagram and Facebook? Where can folks, uh, check you out at? Yeah, well, I'm now at, for Twitter, it's real Leah Vaughn and on Facebook, it's Leah Vaughn and I'm getting my website changed, but right now it's still leahvondutch.com. Yeah. So check it out. Um, and, uh, where are you coming up? Where you got coming up? It's a secret. Oh, secret. Yeah. I got a, I got a tour, a couple tours planned. So Cool. So yeah. uh, check out uh, Leah Von Dutch. It will be changed soon. Mm -hmm. .com. Uh, and, of course, uh, Real Leah Von on the Twitter and uh, on, on Facebook. Oh, and Instagram. I, inst I was afraid about Instagram. Yeah. Are you a big Instagrammer? Big pictures? Now I am. Now? Yeah. yeah Leah Von is now. I, I'm not, like, I try to be. Yeah. Like, but I just, I, for, I usually don't take pictures of stuff. And then so like a lot of my stuff is like, hey, it's like Throwback Thursday every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, here's me five years ago. So, um, yeah. But uh, make sure you follow her. And that way you'll see where these tours are coming up at. Uh, maybe to a town near you. And don't forget to follow me at The Wrestling Bum on Twitter and Instagram and uh, Facebook.com slash The Milo Beasley Show. Give me a like, share, uh, share this uh, video. And, uh, and this has been episode number 90 with Leah Vaughn. 
and we will see you next week. Yay! Be a bud. I can't. <laughs> I can't do an L because my finger. I have a broken finger, uh -oh. so I can't do a. I have a broken pinky right now. Oh. <laughs>